இந்திரா ப்ராஜெக்ட்ஸ் ஒன் நார்த் லான்ச் ஆஃபர் ஸ்கொயர் ஃபீட்டுக்கு ஆயிரம் ரூபாய் குறைவாக வாங்க இன்றைய தொடர்பு கொள்ளுங்கள் ஹரீஷ் கல்யாண் நடிப்பில் இஸ்பே ராஜாவும் இதய ராணியும் மார்ச் பதினைந்து முதல் May I request Mr. Stephen Fleming and Mr. Kedar Jadav to please do the honors. We'll begin with you, Mr. Fleming. So we have the switch and if you could just look that way and then click the button. Chennai Super Kings again. Ladies and gentlemen, come on. Some whistles in the house because that's the way we truly celebrate. Chennai Super Kings again. Chennai Super Kings again. Chennai Super Kings again. Chennai Super Kings again. Turn to this way, you are right here, and then you can launch there. Alright, here we go ladies and gentlemen. Some more merchandise coming your way. All set. Yes, so this one will be like celebrating. you want to listen to the next item on the agenda because we're going to open the floor for a quick question and answer session we have the csk head coach with us the csk star and of course the csk management team so ensure that you post your questions by identifying yourself first and then i'm sure they'll be happy to take all the questions let me see you back in chennai i mean uh, i think all the basics what are the area you think that we need to improve and will doni bat higher in the order Uh, well, it's very nice to be back. Uh, well, Tony batted pretty much four last year, but we do use him in a little bit of a flexible role, so that won't change. His form has been outstanding in the last 10 months, uh, so we, we won't be getting um, tricky because we've got um, a new player as well. So we've got a new signing who's come in, which is great. Um, so we're really happy with the, the order and the, and the thoughts around that. Uh, our, our challenge is is to win the cup again. Um, it's very hard to win it, it's difficult, it takes a lot of things to work for you and uh, we've really just come back in and, and rebased ourselves on, on what we need to do to, to stay uncomfortable and, uh, and also what we need to do from a skill point of view to compete with seven other very good sides. So it's a very tough competition. How to compare the, uh, the balance of our side with the other teams? Where do you think, what are the plus points you feel? Uh, if, We tend not to do it because if you, you start looking at other teams, you, um, you detract away from, from what's good about your own. And, and really, there's enough analysts that go through the opposition teams. There's enough great players with each side. So it actually comes down to, to mindset, uh, team environment, culture, and then just winning big moments. And, and we openly have said we prefer experienced players because they identify big moments. And last year, they won them. And that's our challenge again today. But Um, look, we're happy we're settled. We back, um, we back our people. So there's not a lot of change within the side and, and we just work hard on our relationships and, and our one-on-one -on -one coaching rather than trying to rebuy a team every year. Kedar, okay, I'm sure you'll be looking forward to winning the CSK again, uh, winning the IPL again with CSK. Uh, last year, I think, uh, you, you won the first match and then you had to miss out the rest of the matches because of injury. And also, uh, Your thoughts on playing in the World Cup? I think this is this. You're, you're all you're very likely to be selected in the World Cup team. This will be your first World Cup. Can you tell us about your World Cup dream from a young age? You know, to play for India in the World Cup. Uh, sir, basically every cricketer you know who wish to play for India, it's a dream for him to feature in the World Cup team. So I'm no different to that. 
but as of now next two months my focus will be you know uh, to this team csk and my own team no i love the environment i love the culture here last year also even though i was there only for a week or 10 days but still i enjoyed that and i missed a lot you know i watched all the games uh, last year also when i was in melbourne for surgery but i was uh, very uh, i missed so many uh, uh, beautiful people and you know uh, the whole journey i missed when we lifted the la cup last year so uh, i am uh, hopeful that you know we'll uh, do it again this year and uh, i am looking forward to play all those two uh, months uh, with you know uh, fit body and uh, contribute to the best of my abilities uh stephen yeah uh this will be the first ipl which will predate the world cup so in terms of uh, there's been all, lots of talk about how players are going to approach the world cup how they are going to you know conserve themselves or uh, keeping to you know to stay fit for the world cup is that something that you've spoken about in and will that um, matter in the way you train and where how you use the players you obviously have kedar dhoni and raidu who are close i mean who will be most likely to be part of the world cup so that's three of the 15 so how will that uh, affect your preparations and approach for this and is there something that the boards have spoken to you about not only the indian players even the other player foreign players about how how you use your international players for the ipl yeah it is going to play a part and the reason i say that is that uh England 18 months ago stipulated when their players would be leaving and it was going to be early uh Australia the same and so it has had an impact because when we sit and pick our team we were very mindful of how many players would be leaving early and and what the balance would be like so it has had an influence as far as individual players um taking it easy I I have no concerns with that um certainly from the, the group of players that that we have once you're involved in a competition and you commit to a team uh there's a competitive aspect that makes them as good as they are and that won't be compromised so uh, um, while they're with the team there I I don't see um any complacency or any let off with a view to the world cup um but it, it, it probably around managing workloads with bowlers will be the only discussion and I think in that situation we're okay but Yeah, it's going to it's going to have an an influence, but I think it it will be minimal for CSK. Hi Fleming, a uh, couple of questions coming back to IPL. Um one uh what's the one thing you'd say makes uh, CSK one of the best teams uh out of all the um eight teams in the IPL and the second thing if there was one word that you could describe um used to describe CSK which one would it be and why? Uh look I I think If you look at last year we we just won big moments and you know we're very big on the the team culture and and empowering players to make a lot of decisions and and win big moments. Well last year was a snapshot of that even though um the young man was only with, with us for one game he played a huge part in winning that game with Bravo and then Faf Duplessy Watson Bravo again and and the usual suspects of Donny and Rainer. So it was very collective performance last year and it's a little bit different to other years where you have two or three players that dominate um we had quite a collective approach and performance and and it, it's it's incredibly rewarding I'm not saying that that's the only way to win um but it was certainly a it was a, a real thrill for us last year doing it that way um we think we've got star power within the side we think uh, indian players are, are some of the best in the world and then back them up with some outstanding um overseas players and contributors so that's part of our our secret is picking people as well as 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 well as players and I'll keep coming back to just backing the players that we've got and trying to maximize even if it's the 14th 15th 16th player really value their input and that's certainly been a key part of the franchise and and as we grow and and the support grows it it it, it feels like it's just all one big part of a Uh, of CSK family is as it's talked about but the players feel it having 12 and a half thousand at training having uh guys come wanting to be here uh looking forward to the two months um that's all part of of being a successful franchise doesn't guarantee success though oh, I think it comes from our captain probably humble um we we there's no talk about defense or uh retaining the cup we're humble enough to know how hard it is to win it and that's sort of again a reflection of our our captain downward so no arrogance um just a case of caring for others and playing well uh 
Uh, coach, last year you had to move to Pune and you sort of had to adjust to quicker pitches and Lungi stepped up admirably and now you're back home. You have a lot of spinners and of course Mitch Santner is coming back. He had a superb season in the Super Smash as well. So what do you see the role of spinners particularly on a friendly pitch and of course Santner who's one of the few finger spinners who's been very successful. Yeah, Mitch has got a great record uh, in the subcontinent which um, uh, which is good to have him. We obviously missed him last year so again it's like a new signing. Um, just just the quality and just the game plan so we've got a, a strong top order um, we've got good variations but don't don't underplay the impact our pace bowlers had last year they made the adjustment to Pune well but Chennai still has a role for pace bowlers so we're, we're very conscious of having a good balance but uh, Imran Tahir is in good form uh, Karan Shah Mahabhajan with his experience we've got most of the bases covered it's about getting guys in form and, and then just sitting on the game plan that we want for especially at home but then for when we play away as well so we think we're pretty well covered okay my question is to Kedar. Kedar, you've had your share of injuries in the past and uh, you've had a period of consistent cricket in recent months uh, Virat has said that the workload it's up to individual players as a key member of the World Cup squad uh, how much of a concern is the workload and uh, how will you be looking to manage that uh, my workload is uh all uh, with my bowling, that's what I feel. So, uh, apparently, you know, I don't think so. In the next two months, my bowling will be used as much as the Indian team I am used to bowling. So, that's one case. And besides that, we all are professional cricketers. Like, we uh, we know how to manage our bodies, you know. But uh, with this uh, two months of uh, the best thing will be, you know, how you recover after every game. And you cannot improve in just one practice session so there will be times where you need to skip those practice session and uh, you know focus on your recovery in terms of uh, being fresh for the games because uh, like as long as you are fresh for the game uh, there is more chances of you performing well than practicing a day just before the game so obviously uh, it's up to the individuals and uh, we are smart enough and we have been in touch with the uh, our franchisee trainers and physios and besides that, the Indian trainers and physios also have given some uh, notes where we have to follow those strictly in terms of going at these two months. Uh, hi, uh, Stephen. Uh, what uh, happened in your uh, hometown, Christchurch, was really uh, devastating. Where were you uh, when you came to know about that uh, news? And uh, as someone who worked closely with the uh, New Zealand tourism, how do you look at that uh, incident? Oh, well, it's very sad and ongoing. It's um, a lot of thoughts and prayers to everyone affected. I was on a flight to Singapore, so I got off the plane to uh, to the news for my family um, who were around town at the time. So uh, we weren't immediately affected, but we've all been affected, in particular being a Cantabrian myself. Um, to have this happen in your hometown in, in New Zealand was just very hard to comprehend. So I spent the next two hours in the Singapore lounge watching CNN just trying to comprehend uh, the magnitude of the events, um, the sorrow and the thoughts um, of everybody that was immediately affected and then of course one eye on the future as to what that holds but I've been extremely proud of the way uh, our Prime Minister and in particular the, the community has rallied around. There's been a lot of behaviours that um, have gone against what the person who um, initiated this wanted, and that makes you proud as a New Zealander, but very sad that it happens in your in your hometown, yeah. Uh, hi, uh, my name is Girish, and I'm from Business Standard. My question is to Mr. Kashi Vishwanathan and Mr. Oni. Uh, so basically, how many SKUs are there uh, uh, as of now in CSK's uh, brand portfolio? That is one, and um, uh, uh, will it be a revenue sharing model between you and those uh, companies that manufacture this or uh, what will be the model? And also like uh, you were mentioning about the next phase of the brand's journey. So would like to uh, hear a few uh, comments from you on what, what it looks like forward and uh, where do you want to see this next phase too? See as far as the marketing is concerned, I will ask Mr. Shankar Muni to answer. As far as the fans are concerned, as all of you know, that uh, CSK has always been taking care of the fans. We take at least about 100 fans for every uh, uh, every away trip for all, all of our away games. So that will continue. Apart from that, we are also planning to give 
the local fans in Chennai an opportunity to see the matches. Probably we'll give, our, give around 50 to 100 tickets for them, which, which they can use in every, every game, which they can share, so that uh, it'll be possible for them to come for the matches. So this is the plan which we are having for the fans right now. And I think uh, from what we did last year, see, we took care of the fans by taking them to Pune, because they lost out of the matches here. We had the Visual Podo Express, which was a great success. And I'm very sure that uh, the CSK fans will not be disappointed with the kind of uh, programs which we will be doing for the current year also. As far as marketing is concerned, I'll ask Mr. Shankar Wunni to clear your doubts. Hi. <coughs> so with regards to the brand journey, this is something which is going to be a continuous process. So you just, it's a brand which is built over the last 10 years and that is really seen in front of everybody. So this extension which you are taking, like what Kasisa was telling, was only on the fan engagement part. We're coming to the SKUs. Currently we have around 12 brands which has already signed up with us and they have the people who have released the merchandise. SKUs is 100 plus because we know that the request keeps coming from the fan in different ways. So we have one gifting category which is totally personalized where the fan can really get, he can see through the CSK. So anything on CSK he can place himself and that's what a few of the photo frames are going to be. So personalizing, so SKU is, it's unlimited. And the next steps, as we still keep it close to the heart, as it keeps going, we will be unraveling one. But we want to take it closer to a much larger purpose beyond cricket because we have a superb team who keeps supporting us. So we want to engage and take it further. So we as a brand, we are much more prouder. Pan India, and slowly we are making the merchandise available in the international markets also, making baby steps towards US and UK also. So that is the first which you will see all these news coming up in our website on a regular basis. Thank you. Hi, uh, my question is to the coach. Uh, coach, is the yo-yo test mandatory uh, <laughs> this year in the CSK uh, camp? What was that? The yo-yo test? No, it's never been part of our <laughs> squad. So what's your view on that? Uh, do you think these kind of uh, tests should be made mandatory because uh, the Indian team now follows the entire the process? Um, my view is we're part of a season. So um, we have enough to um, work to get the guys up to speed in terms of how we want them to play. Um, it, certainly only speaking from CSK, there's an expectation that fitness will be met. Uh, and we have some world class the physio and trainer with us that work closely with the players. Um, we don't spend time policing that because we have other things that we prioritise and so we, we try and empower the players to make sure they're in the best shape possible both mentally and physically. Um, and that's part of an advantage is that we're only two months whereas a national team has concerns for 12 months. So. Uh, yep, I expect the guys to, to do the work so that when they play for India they're right at peak condition and I, I don't want it to be labelled that they were um, underperforming with their fitness when they were at CSK but uh, our players are very professional with that. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. This concludes our question and answer session and from uh, all of us, I'd just like to say all the best for a rocking season and we expect the Chennai Super Kings to lift the championship trophy this year as well. All the best, go well. Thank you once again and thank you so much for joining us. Ladies and gentlemen, it's truly been a pleasure and I'm sure all of you are going to go ahead and block those merchandise for your friends and family. Have a good day. Please do join us for lunch. <laughs>